Hello everybody, I am back again. I promised you guys two videos this week. So I am on video number, I don't know, I think I promised you two more videos. <laughs> so I am on video number two. So I just got one more that I have to do. I had someone that's a subscriber, Diamond, to call me out to say, hey, I thought you said you were gonna do two more um, videos this week. So here I am, y'all. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this uh, to my channel and also click the bell notification so you can stay um, uh, in the loop when a new video has posted. So let's see what we're gonna eat today. Y'all, I am so hot, cause I don't ran around trying to do this. This is what we're having today. You know, I'm on a keto diet. So if you watch my video, on Instagram or either on TikTok or Facebook or whatever social platform I'm on, you would know that I'm on this keto diet. Y'all, we're going on vacation next month. I am going, look, I got my beach wear on today, y'all. This is one of my cover-ups. You can't see the whole thing. I'm not going to stand up for you, but it's super, super cute. So that came in today. And so I need to lose some weight. <laughs> ah, I need to lose some weight, y'all, because I want to be on the beach and I want to be cute on the beach. So today we are having ramen. Can you see it? It's ramen. So, and my kids told me to put an egg in it. So we have some ramen today. Now I'm gonna tell you now, the noodles that is in here are shiitake, they are tofu shiitake noodles. So they take on any um, flavor that you put in here, it takes, puts in the broth, it takes on that flavor. So these shiitake noodles do have a little carb in them, but the carbs is like maybe six carbs. And I know you can have on keto, it's not totally no carb. You just have to really, really, really watch your carb intake. So you want your carb intake every day to be low. And then your sugar, zero. But you know, carbs turn into sugar. So this is six, but I don't do carbs every day. But to have ramen, you gotta have what? You gotta have some noodles. So these are, but this is the spaghetti. They didn't have, they don't have shiitake um, uh, regular noodles. It's only the spaghetti kind. So it's a little bit different. But in this, what I made, I took some uh, bouillon cubes, nor bouillon, nor, K-N-O-R-R -R bouillon cubes. I got some bok choy in there. I put the shiitake spaghetti, the noodles in there soft boiled eggs. What else did I put? I put a couple of pieces of celery in there. Y'all, I love celery. And then I had some celery in the refrigerator. You know how you got to get rid of it. And then um, I put some green onion, uh, green onion leeks in there. And then I, uh, I don't know why I threw some shrimp in there. I wanted some pieces of chicken in there, but I ain't had time uh, to dethaw no breasts because I'm hungry. I'm on the keto, baby. Keto, you are hungry. Keto, you will kill over, honey, if you don't get something to eat. Because I be hungry as heck. Oh, my God. I didn't realize. Look at this, y'all. Hold on. I'm gonna do. It's hot. You see it? Can you see? No, y'all can't see that smoke. <laughs> it tastes like ramen noodle. So, with keto... Oh, I got to chew this noodle. One thing about these shiitake, baby, if you don't chew them suckers, right, that thing get the... You've been unstrangled. Mess around. Death by shiitake, y'all. <laughs> I've been a fellow like, ah! And not come back to the video, baby. Okay. So I should have cut them up a little smile. I don't know what I was feeling fancy. Thought I could get these noodles down my throat. So, what was I going to say? With keto, you're not supposed to have carbs. Now, mind you, I'm not a bread eater. I, I'm not a fan of bread. I will eat bread, but I'm not a fan of bread. Like, if I'm going to have a lunch meat sandwich, then it's not going to be a sandwich. I'm just going to eat lunch meat. I'm going to roll it up with some cheese and eat it like that. Um, so, I'm not a fan of bread. Um, I'm not a fan of pasta, of spaghetti. I don't like spaghetti. Red spaghetti, I don't like it. I make some killer spaghetti, but I do not like spaghetti. So I'm not a fan of pasta, and I'm not a fan of uh, Alfredo or things with pasta in it. Not a fan of that at all. Some people, they eat, are you the type, now put down in the comments if you the type that you gotta have bread with everything. 
I used to sit there and watch people like, why are you eating chicken with a piece of bread? You can't have chicken without bread. Sure, you can have chicken without bread. Or they would eat a piece of fish with some bread on it. Now, I like breading, but I don't like per se bread. Um, I do have a craving for sugar. Is Am I the only one, y'all? Child, I love me some sugar cakes, cookies, pies, sugar cake, cookie pies. Oh, my God. I am a, y'all, I can eat sugar all day long and not really eat no food. Sugar, 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 sugar. So, amazingly though, I haven't been craving sugar. But when I tell you I'm dying for bread, I don't know what's going on, girl. Keto got me tripping. Keto got me on some weird stuff. I need some scissors for this. Y'all, if you get these shiitake news, be careful. Well, honey, I don't want to have nobody, one of the followers, a subscriber, die from this daggone shiitake being up in their throat. <laughs> so I've been craving that, and it's been so weird, because I'm, like I said, I'm not a bread eater, but I'm definitely craving it. But hopefully, y'all, keep me in prayer. Hopefully I will make it though. I'm trying. I've lost some. I lost some weight. Um, I don't do the pops. I don't, ugh. I don't do my cherry Coke, y'all. But come to find out, you can have Coke Zero. No carb, no sugar. Look at God. It don't taste that great. But if you just want to feel, you know, had a feel of a Coke in your hand, <laughs> that's the way to go, baby. <laughs> so other than that, you just don't have that full sensation. It's like after you eat, like after I eat this, I'm gonna probably watch a little, watch a little TV, and I'm gonna go to bed. Because if I stay up, I'm gonna wanna munch. Now I got almonds and little things like that with the good fats and stuff. I got all of that to snack on, but my God. Ugh. I can, I'll be snacking all night long. So I'll just go to bed so I won't keep thinking about it because you just don't have that full feeling. Carbs make you feel wonderful. Am I the only one that like carbs, y'all? Put in the comments what it is you like or what you can't go without. It's like, I love I love that full feeling. You get a good old meal, you just sit back like, whoo. <laughs> that right there touched my soul. <laughs> When you just fall back like, oh my God, this is so wonderful. Or what some people call that the African uh, American community call the itis, honey. I love the itis. But with these noodles and proteins and nuts and celery, you just don't have that full feeling. I don't have that full feeling, y'all. And I miss it. It's only been a week, but I'm talking like it's been years. I miss it. I miss eating a good old cherry coke, burpin, whoo, fried chicken, y'all. I miss it. Then I got my birthday coming up in May. Excuse me. I got my birthday coming up in May. So I gotta go on. On through with the keto, y'all. I'm gonna be 50, so I don't wanna be fabulous. But after that, honey, I'm gonna be 50 and fat. Ah, 50 and super fat. <laughs> so, as I mentioned, I have on one of my cover ups for the beach. Y'all, I know COVID out there. I get it. I understand. I was an advocate. Wear your mask. Don't do a lot of traveling, honey. Listen, COVID been here too long. So, next month, we're going on vacation to the beach, which I miss the beach. Now, look at this, y'all. This is this the messed up part. I'm scared of water. I don't fool with no water like that. But I love the beach. Like, I don't know how to swim. I don't want to learn how to swim. I'm not going to put my face in no water. I'm not going to go to the YMCA and you should learn how to swim. All my kids know how to swim. I don't care. I have a fear of water. I'm not doing it. 
I want to go on a cruise, but that's too much water. Now, I know how to do the dead man flow. They made us take uh, swimming in high school. I think I was like a 12th grade. We took uh, swimming. And so I know how to do the dead man flow, but I never learned how to swim because I was not going to put my face in that water, y'all. So I want to go to the beach. I want to be around some water. I want the relaxation. I told my kids that's going with me. I said, let me tell you something, honey. I'm not ripping and running around that town. I don't want to go on all these tourist sites. And, you know, I may go on one day doing some touristy things. I just want to sit on the beach. I want to relax. COVID not been here too long. This trip was canceled from last year, which I was really disappointed, y'all. Really, really disappointed because my son, hold on. My son graduated high school last year and this was my last child to graduate. So, his graduation gift and my birthday gift was a trip to Florida. We bought our tickets in the whole nine yard. COVID came along. COVID stayed. COVID kept coming along. So, and I told my daughter, I said, if this thing is not gone, you know, by May, then we may have to, you know, hold off. And I was sorely, sorely disappointed. We know we were going in June because he graduated in May and my birthday was in May. And we were really, really disappointed. So now we're coming back a year later that we are, we're going. I don't care nothing about no COVID. I, I'm getting my little mask. Give me some little cute specialty mask made. And I'm going, honey, masked up. Don't sit next to me on the beach. Calm down now. I'm so glad we chose later in April because y'all see that mess going on down there in Florida now. Now, that's not the part of Florida we're going to, but Miami, they done South Beach. They done tore that place up. That place is looking like the hood. I'm so glad we didn't go down there because we were thinking about going at the end of March. That would have been horrible. No, no, not, not at all. So I got my swimsuits came in today, y'all. Um... Some other stuff came in today. I got my little waterproof case for my phone. My daughter told me I don't need no waterproof case for the phone because the phone's already waterproof, but I don't trust Apple. So, I got that. I'm getting stuff together, and I'm ready to go. So, is anybody else going on vacation this year? Anybody else going to take that risk? Just be careful. Cover up. You know, stay away from whoever you need to stay away from and go on and have your nice time because at the end of the day, you don't know when COVID going to leave. Honey, COVID is like a bad relationship. Just don't want to leave. You keep calling. You keep coming around. Every time we think you're gone, you peek back up again. Mm -mm. COVID ain't going nowhere, baby. I don't know when it's going to go somewhere, but I'm going on vacation because I am up to here. Now, my thing is religiously, every single year, religiously, me and my family take a vacation. Every single year, we take a vacation. We'll do a road trip, and then we'll do a vacation. And we haven't had that in... It's two years, two years now. So I'm over, over extended for a vacation. So I am super, super, super ready. So this is it, y'all. I ain't going to be on here long because I'm trying to get into the news, but I ain't trying to get choked. This is the reason why I don't like water. <laughs> I got a phobia. So when I was a kid, my dad, he don't watch YouTube, so he don't know. <laughs> He's not anymore, but he was an alcoholic. And we live in Cincinnati. And so Cincinnati is right by, across the bridge is Kentucky, Covington. Anybody that know Nasty Natty, you want your liquor, you go to Kentucky. Right across the Brent Sprints Bridge, or the big old yellow bridge we call the McDonald Bridge or whatever. So my dad would go over there. It was a place a long time ago. And if anybody watched this video from Cincinnati or from or Cincinnati, Ohio, let me know if you remember this place. It was called The Bump. As it was in Kentucky. I don't know where in Kentucky. It was this back parking lot to some liquor store called The Bump. And I guess they called it The Bump 
because it did have a couple of those bumps that you roll over when you hit a parking lot. And people would be back there bumping, I guess, their music. If he wasn't going to the bump, then Baron was going over there to Black Beer Lot. Anybody? Black Beer Lot, honey. Black Beer Lot is a place where you get the lowest grade of beer ever in life. Ever in life at Black Beer Lot. Black Beer Lot was frequented by old men with Cadillacs, 225 Buick Electric Deuce. That, that, that's what the Black Beer Lot was. And Ohio, for those that may not know, but Ohio was a major, it was well, still is, a major industry uh, city. And I did some research and found out that uh, uh, oh, Cincinnati has a hundred, had 120 beer breweries. So that's why now they're revamping and when they revamped everything, there's all this beer everywhere because we were known for beer. So if you had your German people that came, that lived here, you had your Jewish people, you had your Polish people, and all of them had certain streets that they would go down that had German beer was on Main Street. This type of beer was on uh, uh, Walnut Street. So certain, it's beer everywhere. So if you live here, and that day, more than likely, you're going to be an alcoholic. So my dad was an alcoholic. So he would always say, hey, y'all want to go riding. So his thing of riding is just getting in the car, no particular destination to go to, and you just ride around till you ain't got no more gas. So my daddy only about, had about $2 worth of gas. So we back then, you go ride a little bit for $2 worth of gas. So we're like, all right, then let's go. Because uh, obviously, we weren't going to the zoo and amusement park because he was an alcoholic. He was going to spend all his money on drinking. So I would get in the car with him. It's this one bridge here. I don't know what, what's the name of this bridge. The bridge is over by the banks. If you're from Cincinnati, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you know the name of the bridge, let me know. It's by the, by the banks. And when you go across this bridge, it swings. So it's known like as the swinging bridge. Ain't nothing worse. Child, let me eat my noodles because I'm talking about childhood tragedy and trauma. I'm triggered. We would go across to this bridge. <clears throat> oh, God, that new one. Oh, honey, Trumba tried to take me out in the new one. We go across that bridge, y'all. Now, mind you, we go across the bridge in the winter. So we got wool coats on. We in the car with an alcoholic that's already drunk. He just going back for another beer run. Ain't nothing scarier. Riding in a car with a drunk that you can't tell them they drunk and you can't tell them I don't want to go. We in a car, we on the bridge, and it's swinging. And in my little kid mind, I'm thinking, bruh, we about to fall in the water. So, God's honest with you, y'all, this is what I used to do. As soon as I knew Baron was about to hit that bridge, I would take my coat off. Because I figure if I fall in the water, I'll be better off without the coat. Because if I fall in the water, the coat going to make me sink. <laughs> my right hand to God, I'm telling the truth. I ain't want to drown. To this day, I cannot watch anybody drowning on TV. It makes me tear up. Y'all see my eyes? I realize I'm tearing up. I would tear up if I see somebody drown. It just doesn't. It's God, if I got to go, God forbid, horrific, please don't let it be by drowning. Child, don't, ooh, God. So we would go across this bridge, it'd be swinging, and I'm thinking in my mind, my God, we're going to die. So I would take my little seatbelt off, and I would take my coat off, because if we hit this water, I'm going to hold my breath, which is the dead man float, and then uh, I, hopefully I'll be saved, you know, i I you know, somebody could come get me, but if I got this big, heavy wool coat, I'm talking about the wool coats they made back in the 80s, honey. We ain't talking about this thin wool that they got now. Them sheep ain't the same, baby. I'm talking about real heavy. Your grandmama bought you that J.C. Penny because she had good credit in the credit card wool coat. If that thing get mixed in with water, I'm dead, honey. They're going to find me at the bottom with a thick wool coat with a hood on, dead with a look like this. Like, I tried one arm out because I tried to get out. So he started noticing 
as time went on that I kept taking my shirt, my coat off. So when we would get to the bridge, he was, don't you take that coat off, Sherry. And I'm like, huh? I ain't want to go for the beginning, bro. This ain't bothering you. Why you got to be in control of everything? This don't have nothing to do with you. Let me take my coat off. Let me be in fear. How about what you do make me feel comfortable is stop drinking and stop taking your kids on these drunken rides over to the bump where is these old degenerate men. Child, I can't stand old men to this day, y'all. They so nasty because we would go over there and back then like little kids could go inside of a liquor store. It ain't like now where you got to have ID. You could send your kid around the corner with a note and my mama said, can she get a pack of cigarettes? And if you had the money, they gave it to you. Just the neighborhood store, they knew it. So these old men would be looking at you like, how you doing that little girl? Ah! If my daddy ain't paying no attention because this fool drunk and trying to get his liquor. But old dusty Chester the child molester trying to get me. I felt so uncovered, y'all. Just so unprotected at all costs. <laughs> so I still would take my coat off. Y'all, he would try to hit me, backhand me from the front seat. I said, don't take, who does that? And I'm dodging, I don't want to die. Y'all, I just didn't want to drown. <laughs> Did we ever drown? No. Is my dad still alive? He's 70 some odd years old now. He's still kicking. <laughs> Probably the moral of the story is, don't get in the car with your drunk daddy. <laughs> and don't wear war coats. I'm not the guy that ain't a war coat in my closet. <laughs> I'm putting no wool on. I don't want a wool sweater. I don't, don't even, I ain't even gonna date a man with wool like hair, honey. No. They said Jesus got hair like wool. You better cut it before I come up here. I got true armor. This is so stupid, y'all. All of that to tell y'all I'm going to the beach. Just to tell you I'm going to the beach and I love to see the water. But honey, who? Oh my God. Childhood trauma. Y'all, after this video, I'm going to call my sister. We're going to bust out laughing when we talk about the bump and black beer lot. So black beer lot wasn't around water, but it was another dusty parking lot. And another nasty old cruddy man was down there. But Black Beer Lot was at the bottom of the beer barrels. There's, I guess, crud or something. But they took that and they made beer. And these guys would go around there. And it was like one door here. You literally walk through. There's the other door on the other side was open. It just looked like a little short hallway. You went there, you got your beer, and you came out in the parking lot. Open flask, honey. They was drinking all over the place. And I'm like... I want to go play soccer. <laughs> why am I, why is my after school activities at the bump and black beer lot? Like, I want to play volleyball. I want to play kickball or something. I'm riding around with a drunkard in the name of my father. And, and with old men at the black beer lot. Honey, tragedy. Tragedy. So to this day, when I tell you I am petrified of water, I will I'll go on the beach. I'll go maybe a little bit out there into the the water, just a little bit. But when I feel my feet sinking, oh, let me back on up here. Cause I am traumatized, y'all. From childhood. Lying to the bump. Y'all. I just sat here and giggled myself to death. I hope y'all think this is funny, because if not, <laughs> I don't care it's funny to me. <laughs> Honey, so this is my cover-up. Notice it's light, cotton, nothing made of wool, honey. We don't do wool around here. <laughs> I'm going to post another video this week. I don't know what I'm I'm probably over here eating air sandwiches, y'all, because that's about all this keto was doing for me right about now. I put a couple of little shrimps in here, y'all, just to feel like I was having some meat. But uh, catch the next video, y'all. 
I got some exciting news coming up in April. Oh my God, there's two exciting announcements coming up in April. I'm waiting on some things to get finalized and, and done and I am uber, 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 uber excited, y'all. Thank you you guys for coming on this journey with me. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for liking the channel and commenting and engaging with me and just listen to me and my childhood tragedy. Honey, you got to laugh through it. If you don't laugh through it, I probably would have been like nuts up right about now. <clears throat> you got to laugh through it, honey. But go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, I'll put another one up this week. Dad, this week almost over. It's Thursday. Friday, Saturday. Oh, maybe I'll do it Saturday. I have my grandbabies on Saturday. We're going to the zoo. So I'll let you see my, uh, I probably have, well, I won't have all three. I'll, no, I'll have all three of them on Saturday. So we'll do like a little kid video or something on Saturday. Bye, everybody. Have a great week and see you, mm, see another video Saturday. <laughs> Peace.